सो हाई डियर कैप्री कॉर्न वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टैरो एंड दिस इज अ जर्नल ऑफ रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द कैप्री कॉर्न सन मून मीनस राइजिंग फ्रॉम जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर टिलसेंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर आई एम गोइंग टू लाइक रीड फॉर दोज हु आर कम्प्लीटली सिंगल एंड दोज हु आर इन रिलेशनशिप एंड देन फॉर दोज हु आर वेटिंग फॉर अ पास पर्सन और दोज हु आर इन नो कॉन्टेक्ट और नो कम्युनिकेशन कांड ऑफ अ डील राइट नाउ ओके If you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me you can start your journey by purchasing my course the link is in the description box for the same if you want to start your self healing journey with hope on a pono but don't know from where to start you can definitely start by purchasing my master class again the link is in the description box for the same and it has the power to change your life for the rest of your life trust me on that i'm doing it from a very long time now and if you want one on one healing sessions or personal readings you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same so let's start cappies Those who are single, let's see what's coming towards them from July till the December twenty twenty four. Capricorn, let's see. Uh oh. Just give me a second. Yeah, we have July. August, September, October, November, December. In July, I think somebody is going to catch you off guard. You are going to be very attracted to someone. Someone is going to be very attracted to you. Your personality, and I think uh, there will be a lot of passion. There will be a lot of fire. There will be good times ahead. But then I think you guys are going to realize that it's just a lusty kind of a situation, or there's a lot of attraction and nothing more than that. so one of you is going to leave eventually to be honest with you guys <laughs> because i do see you in uh, like august september october august you are going to be like ah uh, very defensive towards everything and everyone if even if somebody is coming towards you you are going to be like nope i'm good bye so not interested in september you are telling me that you have someone specific or something specific in your mind or some kind of specific kind of um like this kind of person or this kind of uh, connection should be there in my life kind of a deal and you are going to be upset when you are not going to find that kind of energy or you are going to be upset because you feel like you are not getting that person or that energy that you want okay so uh, <laughs> august september october is you are going to be like tired of this energy of waiting for the right person waiting for the right energy for some of you waiting for the specific person you are in this energy of trying to find out uh, a, an alternative for something or someone that you have in your mind in july and i think you are going to find it then you are going to realize no it's not working out i want that kind of person only or i want that person only or i want that kind of energy only so august september october is all about contemplating wanting to get that kind of person or that particular person or that kind of energy and not getting it so getting a little bit pissed off and disappointed In November, somebody is going to show up from your past. You guys have a soul connection together. You guys have a soul contract. In November, somebody is going to show up, and in December, I do see a past person, past energy coming together, coming back together. A reconciliation is on the cards for you guys. Now, for some of you, this is the same person that you are holding on to, still uh, having this energy of I want them only or that kind of person only. For others of you, it could be somebody that you had a fallout with in the in the recent past, but you guys know this person very well, right? and this kind of energies are coming for you guys till the end of this year capricorn okay this is for singles moving on to those who are already in a relationship or connection let's see capis We have seven of cups. Da 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 da. Hmm. Okay, in July, if you're already in a relationship or connection, a lot of confusion is going to be there. You guys will not be able to understand what the actual heck is going on between you guys. Okay, there will be on and off communication, but there will be a lot of emotional confusion between you guys. It will be like I don't know. uh some of you are going to be very much busy in your work or job or career or something else but you are going to be very distracted you are not going to be focused on love and relationship area that much hmm. in august we have the queen of cups finally you are going to feel a lot of love towards someone and someone is going to feel a lot of love towards you and it's going to show in your actions rather than your words and you guys are going to have a supportive kind of connection between you and your person and you guys are going to feel the love it's like feeling the love even if not saying it feeling the love with each other kind of a deal that's going to lead to a lot of self love self care self healing kind of a journey kind of a deal 
In September, we have the full card. You taking the leap of faith with someone. You are going to be like, okay, let's take the risk. Let's go in this direction. Let's do something about it. So something will start again. Okay. September, October is all about having a brand new beginning in your love and relationship area and uh, restarting a chapter all over again from scratch. Uh, and giving another shot to this connection this situation and this time you're going to be quite hopeful and positive that it is going to work out but does it <laughs> because in november and december i do see in november you are going to be very very rude very ruthless you are going to be very cold and often detached some might someone might hurt you or something might hurt you and you're going to be in this energy of nope not anymore not interested cutting somebody out of your life completely and in december feeling like did i do the right thing in December, you are going to be on the crossroads where what to do, what not to do, what should I, should I go in that direction, should I leave this completely, should I give it another shot. So this year is going to end in some kind of up in the air kind of energy with the person that you are already in a connection with. Okay, this is for those who are already in a connection or relationship with. Now let's move on to those who are waiting for a past person, past energy to show up or if there is no contact, no communication going on. Let's see what's coming towards you by the end of this year, Cappies. Let's see what's happening. In July, we have the two of pentacles. On and off communication might happen. Okay, so somebody from your past might show up, or you are going to show uh, interest in them. Uh, I do see communication happening. Just give me a second. I do see communication happening. I do see on and off communication happening, but it's not going to lead to a stable kind of energy, stable kind of commitment, kind of relationship. It's going to be on and off, in and out kind of a deal in July. In August, it's like emperor, you taking the charge of the situation or somebody taking the charge of the situation, there will be a period of no contact or no communication again, because ego game is going to be very, very high between you guys. Both of you are going to be like my way or highway kind of a deal and none of you is going to be ready to compromise in the situation. That's going to lead to the no communication, no contact zone again. July, August, September, September, somebody's ego is going to die. Somebody's ego is going to be like, okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, uh, not uh, take love uh, from the angle of ego let's uh, work on this so somebody will try to put in the effort and energy in this direction and somebody will try to reconcile and come together with you starting from scratch kind of a deal it could be you reaching out to them it could be them but there are chances of reconciliation coming back together kind of a deal starting from scratch to be, uh, starting from scratch kind of a deal okay and in october we have the queen of cups Okay, there will be a lot of self-love, self-care, self-healing kind of energy involved, but there will be a love on both the sides. There will be this energy of, okay, I love you, you love me. Both of you are going to know about this. Might be you guys are not going to be very uh, verbal about it or very uh, like actively doing something about it, but both of you are going to realize that both of you have a lot of love and a lot of respect towards each other. It's going to be a very beautiful kind of energy between you guys. November is Knight of Cups, somebody showing their love, finally expressing their love to you, finally you expressing your love to them. November is all go going to be a lovey-dovey kind of month for you guys where both of you are going to feel a lot of love and a lot of uh, pull towards each other and a lot of this energy of no matter what we guys are going to stick around kind of a deal. <laughs> okay, in December we have, wow. So I think Capricorn, somebody from your past that you are still stuck on or you still have this energy of love towards or you rejected them or they rejected you, I don't know what ha what is happening. The person that you're already with, the person you're having on and off kind of a deal with, I think this is not the same person that's going to show up in your energies in the com in the coming future. <laughs> but this is somebody you're going to fall in love with. They are going to be somebody that they are going to fall in love with. You guys are going to have a very beautiful connection, very loving and dear, like loving and angelic kind of connection between you guys with the person that you had a connection with at some point of time. They are going to show up in your energies again. Sometimes when we talk about the past person, it's not the same person that we are fixated on. Sometimes it's someone else showing up in your life. Our end goal for all of us as humans is to find love, to find the right person, to find the right energy. But we, when we get stuck on a past person, past energy, like, okay, they are the only one that might show up. Sometimes it's somebody else. But the main goal here, the end goal here is to receive love and you are going to get it. That I can see. There are very good chances of you coming together with somebody from your past and having a very beautiful connection by the end of this year. I don't think it is the same person that you're currently dealing with. It could be somebody else, but it's a very good energy. Yeah. 
so yeah this is what i have for you hope this helps and you guys you guys are going to enjoy a very good connection with each other if you guys are going to give it a shot with all of your heart and soul capricorn so don't allow your mind to play tricks on you because you guys have the tendency you guys have the tendency to ruin everything in love because of your practicality because of your logical mind so just try not to do that i do see everything else is going to be sorted naturally hmm? just let it flow let it go so yeah bye bye take care god bless you namaste